everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we'll be talking about what to do for your hamster in the hot weather. So as you know we've all got nice hot sunny weather this weekend on Easter. So this is why I thought I'd take the opportunity to make this video about what to do for your hamster in this hot weather. So the first thing you need to watch out for is that your hamster doesn't overheat. Now you need to keep an eye out for these symptoms which are panting, a bright red tongue, slobbering, heat stress, weakness, lack of movement and also lethargy. Now if they show any signs of this you can give them water based foods like cucumber, watermelon without the seeds and lettuce. Now these can help them rehydrate and also you should try using the syringe with water in. Now symptoms of lethargy are wet looking coat, loss of appetite, sudden weight loss, increased thirst, sleeping in open areas or away from their usual nest, white teeth or one or several turn white, aggression, diarrhea or unusual antisocial behaviour. If your hamster shows any of these signs of heat stress, please take them to see your vet as soon as possible because this could mean that they are showing signs of heat stress. Now hamsters can have it up to a week depending on the severity. Now health changes should be noticed in the first three days but if they are still showing symptoms, I would advise you take them back to see their vet ASAP. Now, there are some things that you can do to help stop your hamster getting heat stress. Now, these are moving your hamster's cage to the coolest part in your house. Because heat rises, it's a very difficult place to try and find the coolest place in your house. Now, I would suggest it could either be the kitchen, the bathroom, dining room, basement, anywhere that's really cool because... If you leave your hamster in a hot room, they will just overheat and that is just not good. So the next one is you can use a fan for your hamster, but you have to make sure that the fan isn't too close to them because it can make them too cold. And if it's too close, like extremely too close, it can damage their skin and their fur. So the next thing is water. Now I would suggest putting a two litre bottle of water in the fridge. It could be a two litre or a 500 milliliter bottle and I would fill up their bottle with cold water if you've got a spare that's brilliant fill that bottle up and put it in the fridge so when they finish the last one you can put that one in so I would recommend doing that but please don't use tap water because tap water contains a lot of chlorine so use bottled only now you can also place tea and coffee mugs in their cages so to do this, you place them in the fridge for about half an hour to an hour, take them out and put them in their cage. Now, this provides them with a nice shady cool spot to lay in, and it's also a very good hideout for them as well. So if they get too hot, then they can go and lay in it and sleep in it, do whatever in it. And then once it's cool, like once it's gone warm, change it for another cold one if it's still hot. So now the next thing is sand baths. Now, sand baths are pretty good because you can put them in the, in the fridge for half an hour or you can put them in the freezer. Now, I've, I've never really put them in the freezer, but put them in the fridge for half an hour and the hamster will love it because it'll be nice and cold for them. Now, the next thing is, is you can add a large stone or a ceramic tile and you can put it underneath the cage. I wouldn't put it in it because it can make your hamster too cold. So what I do is I get a ceramic tile, I put it in the fridge or I don't and then I put it underneath their cage so it colds the bottom of their cage so they can find the coolest spot. Now if you have a teddy bear hamster who has a very long skirt you can trim down their skirt a little bit but if you cut too far it won't grow back but if your teddy bear hamster is a show hamster then I would recommend that you don't trim their skirt down. Now last but not least you have to make sure that your hamster's cage is in a well ventilated room. Now, if they have an aquarium tank, it is absolutely vital that they are in a cooler room, have good ventilation, because the aquarium tanks absorb a lot of heat, so it is best to make sure they're in a cool room. Now, there is another thing your hamster can have, and they are frozen treats. So now I will tell you what they are. Barley, cashews, flock seeds, millet, oats, peanuts, pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds and cooked potato. 
It's the best way to cool them down on a hot day, but don't freeze the boiled potato. Only give it to them once it's cooled down and only in small amounts. So you can also freeze a bottle of water for your hamster. Now, if you do this and you take it out of the freezer, please make sure that you wrap it in a towel or a blanket or anything that will protect your hamster. Because if you don't wrap it in anything, it can damage the skin, it can damage the fur and it can damage the whole of their body. Now, let's move on to the things that you shouldn't do. Now, first of all, you shouldn't leave your hamster in a hot car while going on holiday with them. You mustn't have your hamster in direct sunlight. If you have a fan blowing at your hamster, please do not take their bedding away as this can make them seriously ill. So please leave their bedding with them. And last but not least, please do not play with your hamsters because they can overheat, as you know, in hot weather. So play with them once it's cooler. Once the hot weather is over and the weather started to cool down, that's when your hamster can move back into their normal room. Now we would like to thank you for watching our video and if you found it helpful, please like, share, comment and subscribe and we'll see you all again in the next video. Goodbye everybody. Just to say happy Easter from all of us as serial hamster lovers and my four babies, uh, one year old kitten who is one tomorrow on Easter Sunday. And please stay at home, and stay safe, and look after your family and bring them and see how they are. Alright, speak to you soon, see you in the next video. Bye!